we're heading out to try a few of Scotty's favourite flat earth spots. Okay, I love little dusky flat head there. We're working an area just wide of tower, lots of sand patches and weeds, and the good pair of soft polarised sunglasses will pick that out for you. Oh, feel like it's bloody, mate. That nah, dropped him. Dropped him. Dropped it. Yeah, look at that, that's a lovely fish. I saw him take that. He came right up to the boat and smashed it. Looks like we're going to hold on to that one, mate. Definitely we're going to hold on to that one. Dude, that's a lovely fish. That's a better fish. Love it. Just grabbed it right here. It's a nice size too. Keep his head down. I think, I think he's just, think he's just moved the, uh, the lure out of his mouth. Just keep the rod up. There we go. Oh, and the cook's into one. <laughs> Finally, pressure's off. Okay, guys, we've got a beautiful flathead here, and uh, we've got enough to cook, really, to be honest. And uh, I'm going to put this one back. Rips. Well, I'll tell you what, this, this is the part I really enjoy, is watching them go back in. There you go, mate. Look at that. It's almost as good as cooking them. Okay, you've seen Paul and I both get a couple of nice flathead today, and this is what's been working for us, the Bloodworm Wriggler, and a nice, well-balanced outfit. Now, flathead fishing in the bay, normally work areas between a metre to five metres of water. Allow, cast down the layer, lure to sink to the bottom, and then just slow flicking action will give the, the lure action off the bottom. Okay, resembling a small bait fish. Flathead being an ambush predator, can't resist these little things.